When electric cars were created, the world was extremely excited. The dream of an engine no longer dependent on natural fuels became a reality. This also means that from now, humans can control the fuel source for the engine without worrying about the oil resources that will be depleted in the future. However, the world is always moving, developing, and human creativity is infinite. After electric cars, there was the appearance of cars running on hydrogen fuel, an endless and advanced fuel. It seemed that the automotive industry in general and machinery engines in particular had reached the peak of optimization. But no, recently, Toyota shattered this milestone when announcing that they are researching an engine with breakthrough potential, promising to overshadow the era of electric cars. The engine being researched by the Japanese car company is not only advanced but also the leading environmentally friendly solution today. With it, Toyota asserts that they will become a historical factor shaping the future of the automotive industry and have the ability to completely overthrow the electric car market. So what is that engine? What is its strength? Why can Toyota confidently assert so boldly? Let's find out right after this. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. The engine that Toyota refers to is similar to FCEV technology, which is a vehicle running on hydrogen fuel, but it is at a different level, that is, it is used directly by water, yes, it is water. Over the years, we have witnessed many ups and downs of the oil and gas industry, the fuel crisis spread across the whole sentence, especially after the Russia-Ukraine war broke out, humanity has witnessed a time when gasoline prices peaked, buyers went crazy because the fuel price itself is the factor that pushes the price of consumer goods up high, causing many economies to fall into inflation. There must have been times when you wished that you just needed to go to the pond, scoop water, fill it into the gas tank of your beloved car, then start the engine and drive it on the road, right? Yes, today Toyota is gradually realizing that dream of yours with a truly water-powered engine. In fact, the Japanese automaker has been nurturing this idea for many decades. However, with a modest budget in the past, they could not reach the goal they wanted to achieve. But Toyota did not give up. It is known that their recent idea has received decent investment. Thanks to that, the Japanese automaker is really making long strides in implementing water-powered engine technology, with the potential to create a new revolution for the automotive world. So, what is special about Toyota's water-powered engine and how does it operate? According to experts, this engine has many similarities with the HHO generator but is designed with many differences to be more suitable for daily use in cars. Specifically, this engine utilizes a process similar to the existing hydrogen combustion engine on the Toyota GR Yaris H2, but with a significant advancement, that is, instead of using treated hydrogen, the engine will self-separate hydrogen from oxygen through a chemical reaction by electrolysis. This engine will split water molecules H2O into hydrogen and oxygen when high voltage is applied to the electrodes in the water tank. This process is not only efficient but also helps to avoid the need to use bulky and heavy hydrogen storage tanks, a common problem in traditional hydrogen fuel vehicles. The uniqueness of this energy storage and supply method not only reduces the weight of the car but also increases safety and energy efficiency. When hydrogen is separated and fed to the engine, it is burned similarly to a natural gas engine, but requires specially designed parts to handle the flammability of hydrogen. Specifically, parts such as fuel injectors, cylinder heads, pistons, and valves need to be improved to withstand high pressure and temperature while ensuring complete safety and high performance. So, what is the clearest benefit of Toyota's water-powered engine? Of course, it brings countless benefits. First of all, without saying, we can immediately think that this engine is almost non-emissive. It is similar to electric cars but has some special advantages over electric cars, which are convenience and cost savings. Just having water, users can easily refuel their cars, reducing the demand for oil and reducing costs related to the use of fossil fuels. And thanks to that, it also reduced the need to exploit rare metals, one of the most harmful processes for the environment in the current automotive industry. The exploitation of rare metals not only pollutes the water and land around the mining area but also makes that area uninhabitable. So, compared to the hydrogen engine, isn't it also splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen? It looks like that, but if we go deeper, we can see that it is not entirely like that. Water engines provide a much more environmentally friendly solution while hydrogen engines, known as FCEVs, also have zero emissions. But the storage and transportation of hydrogen require more specific conditions and are more expensive, and also pose a higher risk to the environment due to the volatile and difficult to store nature of hydrogen. The big difference between storing and using water compared to hydrogen as fuel for motor vehicles lies in simplicity and safety. 
Hydrogen storage tanks required to be made of steel, need to be constantly monitored and regularly maintained to ensure safety and sustainability, while the fuel tank for water-powered cars is simple. It can be any type of tank, even plastic. This significantly reduces costs and maintenance efforts. Moreover, the storage of hydrogen not only requires strict preservation conditions but also needs to ensure an ideal environment to avoid destruction. This is also the reason why hydrogen refueling stations for cars must be meticulously built, difficult, and more expensive. Meanwhile, distilled water can be easily bought at any supermarket, even self-produced at home. If you have basic knowledge of chemistry, obtaining hydrogen in pure conditions is an expensive and complex process, combined with the challenge of gas storage, has made hydrogen a popular choice for vehicles. Compared with electric cars and fossil fuel cars, hydrogen cars can be more expensive in terms of both purchase and operation, even though they are very environmentally friendly in theory. As for water-powered cars, with a simple process, it is certain that buying and using cars is simpler by hundreds of times compared to other fuel cars. So what about the daily operating capacity and strength of the engine? Certainly, many people will think that water engines may be weaker than other types of engines, but in reality, they can be on par with gasoline engines and even have stronger potential due to the ability to generate high energy three times. This engine is also very easy to manufacture because they have a relatively simple mechanical design, just a little more complicated than the usual gasoline engine. Toyota said that the production of water engines is simpler and much cheaper than even electric car engines. Therefore, it will be a perfect choice for car production in developing and resource-poor countries. This is also the reason why a scientist from Iran previously decided to convert his Peugeot 405 to run on water, and he really succeeded in doing so. Imagine a future when any man can create a water-powered car in his own family warehouse, meaning that both the cost and the way to make it are not too complicated. Most notably, the average speed of water-powered cars is also quite great. The Peugeot 405 of the Iranian scientist is an example, although it is an old car and converted, but its average speed can reach from 30 to 40 miles, that is at a crude level. As for Toyota, when they start production, of course, the average speed of the water engine will double or more. Isn't it perfect like that? Are there no weaknesses? Of course, nothing is perfect. Toyota also anticipated the weaknesses that their engine would face. First of all, there are logistical issues. Although Toyota's production infrastructure may not adjust much when switching to producing water-powered cars, the engine technology still has a high experimental nature and most functional prototypes are not reliable. In addition, the daily continuous use of water-powered engines is still an open question. In fact, the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen still raises safety concerns for the car itself because hydrogen is extremely flammable and even a small leak can become extremely dangerous, even fatal. Moreover, even if Toyota or any other car manufacturer could create the most reliable and safe water-powered car, there is still a question. Would they be pressured by lithium mining companies, battery manufacturers, and especially oil companies? The answer is certainly yes. Everyone knows that using water as fuel will almost completely reduce the use of fossil fuels, and this will pose a serious threat to the existence of some of the highest profit companies in the world today. There are rumors that about 25 years ago, hidden forces intervened to prevent the development of the first water-powered car. The inventor, Stanley Allen Meyer, and his brother often faced danger and received threats from representatives of oil companies. They were worried about the brothers' technology that could threaten their profits. There were even rumors that the brothers were once paid millions of dollars on the condition that they would destroy the water engine they had created, but they did not submit. Finally, Meyer died suddenly in an unusual way. There are rumors that he was killed by the forces behind the oil companies. But for Toyota, certainly no secret forces can stop their progress. However, when a water-powered car can fully run on the streets is still an open question, and our job is to wait for that day to come soon to humanity. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe.